Hello, my name is Quartermaster, and I'm going to show you how to make Star Wars Movie Player, the computer graph program. Okay, so before we get started, first you'll need a floppy disk with the program a long time ago on it. Now you can find this in dungeons, in the overworld, and some other places too. You also need a button, a piece of redstone. Uh, you also need a disk drive, which is made with seven stone and two redstone. A advanced computer made with seven gold and one redstone and one glass pane. As well as 28 monitors made out of eight gold ingots and a glass pane each. Okay, so there's two things that I'm going to do next. I'm going to show you how to get the program from Pastebin and then I'm going to show you how the program works and is used. But before that, I will also show you how to place down all the components to make it run nice and smoothly. So first off, we place down monitors. Now I've positioned mine so it is four in height, so one, two, three, four. And then the width is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I've had enough space, so one block space below, or one height below, to place the rest of the components. So I get a piece of stone and I place a button on it in the second area. And then beside that, place a piece of redstone connected to an advanced computer monitor. And then beside the computer, I place a disk drive with the floppy disk a long time ago in it. And then just for aesthetics, I place two stone beside it as well. Okay, so to get this program from Pastebin, I'll first show you how to put it up, but you don't really need to know how to do this because it will be already up there on Pastebin for you. So I'll go Pastebin put, and then the program that I have is startup. So using this code, we can get the program. So all you have to do is go paste bin. Oh. Get. And then the code. C0ITDYPR and then what you want to call the program. So I recommend calling it a startup so you never have to worry about booting up the program. And then once you get it, it'll paste it to your computer and save it in its directory. And then you can use it. Now it says file already exists on my computer because I already downloaded it. Okay, so for the next part, I'll show you how the program works. And then I'll run the program and finish up. Okay, so all we do next is go edit startup and then I'll explain the program to you. Okay, so the program starts off with a while loop. So we write while true do. Now all this does is keeps the program running. Um, when you do a while loop, make sure down here you have a sleep command inside the while loop. I'd recommend having it on at least one second or more, if you put it below 0.5 or 0.2, it can crash your client and maybe your game as well. So I recommend putting it on sleeping for one or more. Um, once you have that while loop set up with the sleep command and end written at the end on the same tab, you next have to put in your peripheral. peripheral and we say for this, we call it a value of m equals peripheral. Now make sure you spell peripheral right. Um, I'm not very good at spelling, but you know. Um, and then you do peripheral dot wrap, and then open bracket, and then write in the side. Now you can get the sides off um, the computer craft wiki. I think it's top, bottom, left, right, back, and front. And then the next line. So now what we do is we get the redstone input. So because we've got redstone on the left, what we do is we go if 
redstone, so RS dot get input. Now make sure you've got I capital for input or else it won't recognize the command. And then we have open bracket and then we put in the commas, the inverted commas, left and then comma and then true. So if the redstone input is true on the left, then we do the following. Now, inside this if statement, we put in shell.run and then open bracket cd disk. So basically this locates where the program is and initiates it from the drive. So this disk drive to here and then it locates the floppy disk. And then we do shell.run open bracket open bracket and then in inverted commas we go monitor and then space and then top and then space again and then the name of the program which is a long time ago and then close the commas and the bracket as well and then that works and that runs and then once it's finished running all we do is clear the screen and then we reset the cursor position to 1 1 the top left hand corner Basically, this runs after the program has finished, so you can start the program again and it runs it in the exact same space on the monitor. Okay, and then all we do after that is put else and then sleep. So if the program doesn't have a redstone signal, it'll just keep on going through the while loop and waiting for the redstone to pick up the program. Okay, that's it. Let's see if we can run it now. So I'll just exit, make sure you save as well, press and control and then save and enter. And then we go and call on the program. So start up and then it's running. And all we do is we click on that and that starts running. So that's the end of the tutorial. I would like to acknowledge some of the people who helped out with this program and the mod and the mod pack. Currently running on Wolf 86K's DNS tech pack. I'd like to thank him for letting me use his mod pack for this. Um, I would also like to thank you, um, Dan Who 200, the mod author. I think he's a pretty good mod author and very fun to use his programming and understanding of Minecraft. Um, big thanks goes out to Evinster, one of my friends, who put this up on a forum so and told me all about it and suggested I do this recording and Genki69 who showed me how to start video recording and probably edi editing too he's going to show me how to do that so thank you and everyone have a nice day and hope you have fun